Hello, Lancer Nation. I hope that you and your families are staying healthy during this current health crisis. This, is, this unprecedented time requires all of us to do some unprecedented things. For me, this is unprecedented, providing a video recording where I'd much prefer to talk to you directly in person. Other actions that we could not have foreseen even a month ago include our faculty turning their classroom-based coursework into e-learning practically overnight. Most of our staff turning their homes into offices our resident students leaving mid-semester from the residence halls, and all students are now coping with it without in-person faculty or lab access, as well as losing the social aspects of campus life. Some have undoubtedly suddenly lost their jobs and are dealing with quarantining family members and other similar challenges. Students, Please know that you continue to have access to critical services and more. Counseling and health services are available, and student affairs are creating online platforms to provide daily updates, virtual club meetings, spiritual group groups, as well as fitness activities. You are foremost in our thoughts as faculty and staff seek to provide an off-site educational experience that goes as smooth as possible. As for our alumni, I'm guessing that even the eldest among us has never encountered anything like the COVID-19 pandemic or crisis response similar to what we're seeing in the United States. I pause today to wish you all well. I'd also like to take a moment to thank everyone for their outpouring of support for the dramatic changes we've implemented in a very short period of time. In February, we followed the news of the coronavirus as it spread we brought home those studying abroad and canceled university-sponsored spring break activities as the first wave of decisions that we implemented. By early March, we had established a robust website as well as implemented a COVID-19 response team that meets regularly. As spring break approached, we decided to suspend classes for one week beyond spring break until March 30th. A few days later, we announced that the residence halls would be vacated and courses would be delivered remotely for the remainder of the semester. Faculty responded immediately. Through the Center for Teaching and Learning, faculty colleagues were learning with each other and IT staff through trainings that were provided in order to make the changeover happen. I am pleased to report that we prepared to begin remote learning on Monday. That was no small undertaking and I appreciate that all concerned put students first. Staff members left their offices on Friday, March 13th, with no idea they'd be returning Monday in order to collect what they needed so they could work from home for the remainder of the semester. It's not lost on me that I, the IT staff facilitated turning most of our employees into t telecommuters in just one day. Maintainers and other employees required to work on site began staggering their shifts and their schedules to comply with, ga with gathering size limitations. The challenge of move out of our 1,500 plus resident students under such circumstances rests on the capable shoulders of our residential life staff, something that was just completed today. Future decisions and actions will no doubt be shaped by evolving circumstances. Responding quickly in a crisis amid rapid changing guidance from government officials is not easy. Having to do that at work while dealing with massive disruptions to our personal lives is unparalleled in my lifetime. Not surprisingly, a typical Worcester State colleague's first response has been, how will this affect our students? Not, how will this affect me? I am privileged to work with all of you. I have also heard from many in our Lancer community to say, how can we help students who are in most need of it? One answer, is to please consider giving to the Student Emergency Fund. The funds provide resources for students encountering financial barriers to their academic success. So many of our students are first generation their families to attend college, come from modest means, and many have had jobs impacted by the closures. While I feel confident that most Worcester State students will stay on track academically, I'm not equally confident that they will be able to weather the financial challenges ahead. If you are in a position to, please consider helping them. We've included a link 
to, with this video message and have posted it on our alumni social media page. Time and time again, over the past couple weeks, I've witnessed the Worcester State community set aside individual concerns in a common cause during an extremely difficult time. It gives me great hope that we can meet the challenges ahead, not just for Lancer Nation, but for the nation in, as a whole. So to all of you, I say, take heart, be well, and stay connected virtually. Thank you.